Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Tom Short from Calgary, uh, from West Coast. Hi Tom, how are you doing? I'm good, Meher. But thank you very much for having me on the podcast. Thank you for being here. So Tom is the founder of Kudos, where he oversees business development, sales and marketing. Tom has founded numerous highly successful companies, including Idea Machine, which was recognized as one of the top 10 interactive agencies in Canada, which he later merged with Rare Methods to create the largest independent interactive agency in Western Canada. And under Tom's direction, Rare Method was ranked as one of the fastest growing organization in Canada by Profit 100 magazine several years running, and as of the top 50 small mid-sized employers in Canada by the Queen's School of Business, Queen's Center for Business, Venturing and Hewitt Associate. And today, Kudos is quickly becoming a leader in social recognition and changing how companies around the world engage their teams one thank you at a time. So Tom, thank you for being here. And one of my first question of you is the importance of employee engagement, making sure that they are engaged and making sure that, especially during COVID time with people are working from home and now mm -hmm. it's a mix of some home, some not, uh, and some in the office. So how can companies make sure that employee engagement is done very well, especially we know that there is also, you know, great recognition, uh, great resignation. So yeah. things are moving so fast. So how can companies use kudos and what are your insights about in engagement? Yeah, absolutely. There's lots of different strategy and strategies and tactics that people can employ to try to increase employee engagement in their organizations. And it is more important than ever before, just as you mentioned with the great resignation or the great reset, uh, you know, a lot of different people are talking about, you know, this scenario where, um, you know, turnover and employee retention is, uh, has been never been this high. Yes. And it's really boiled down to the last couple of years has made have made people look into themselves more than ever before to say, what do I really want? And what do I want out of an organization? Mm -hmm. And so the resounding answer has been, you know, my current company isn't doing the things that are fulfilling me that are showing me that I'm valued, or allowing me to continue to develop and grow. And so really, kudos at this point in time is more essential than ever, where organizations that lean into their culture uh, that, um, you know, work and operate from their core values, and demonstrate to their team and their team members mm -hmm. on a social basis that they are uh, contributing to something that is worthwhile that the team aligns to, mm -hmm. and that their efforts are seen and valued. So it comes right down to, you know, even uh, concepts around equity, inclusion, and belonging. Yes. And when you kind of look at the difference between people who use maybe more rewards or incentives for short term motivation, uh, or even pay, uh, you know, where they're paying exorbitant amounts of money to try to make people stay, you know, that still won't work unless people feel connected to your business, yeah. that they're valued and they're, and they're, they're appreciated. So that's really the easiest thing that people can do. And it sounds easy yeah. and obvious, but many times the easy and obvious things are things that people overlook. And that's where kudos comes into the picture. And have you seen during COVID times that companies are really listening to their employees now especially like i need more flexibility or i can work from home why you are not helping me or i can work anytime at the time so do you think that the data is showing that they are listening or there's still some re uh, resistance from the management they are listening and they they have to listen because you know you know we are all people based businesses organizations are nothing without their people and they are starting to use more feedback and survey mechanisms and one-on-ones, and they are hearing, you know, loud and clear that uh, that the individuals, you know, want more opportunities to uh, to learn and grow, and more opportunities to, uh, you know, to uh, advance their careers and and to work on meaningful things. And and so, based on that feedback, you are seeing, uh, you know, more products like Kudos 
being brought into organizations because the team is uh, is asking for it. And there is a difference between why people stay and why people leave. And most companies focus on why people leave, and it's usually career advancement or money, uh, maybe their relationship with their direct supervisor, many other things. But when you look at uh, why people stay, it's often due to the uh, feeling valued, uh, you know, and being in alignment with the organization and, and still opportunities to learn and grow. So it, it's kind of interesting how, you know, people end up focusing on why are they leaving versus focusing on how can I make them stay? And that's really uh, what, you know, I think more than anything else that COVID has, you know, revealed and, and by engaging and asking people, you know, with stay interviews, like, you know, why are you still here? What can I do more to make your uh, experience, you know, with our organization even better and focus on those things versus trying to figure out, uh, you know, after the fact, what we should do, and even working off of false feedback that is going to take you down the wrong path that you have to pay people more, you have to do certain things. That's not always the case. It's, it's more about, you know, caring about your team, and, uh, and, uh, you know, and demonstrating it. Yeah. And I feel that COVID times with Zoom interviews or Zoom meetings, people are more uh, uh, being exposed in terms of they are showing their environment, their family members, their pets. And also you mentioned that one-on-ones, I feel that the one-on-ones with, uh, between the employer and the manager is very important these days because you mm -hmm. need recognition now or you need to help now, not in six months because you will forget yeah. How you are feeling now is the important with mental health and all those coming up. I feel that uh, that are things that uh, employers should be focusing on, right? You're absolutely right because you know we've always had certain things in the mix in organizations. Like there have been incentives and bonuses and rewards, and there have been performance reviews which happen quarterly, semi-annually, or annually where you get feedback, but even with all of these things that people have been doing, you know, if you look at what's happening today, they're obviously not working. <laughs> they're yeah. not making people stay. Uh, and so what you need to do is you need to get everything in more near time and use technology to create systems that are uh, uh, scalable and that are uh, empower everyone and that create consistency across the board. Uh, and, you know, and like you said, it's all about, you know, knowing that you're doing a good job, not in six months from now, it's about doing that today and not taking people advantage of people. Like some people just work hard and are doing a great job and you might just overlook telling them they're doing a good job. And you might actually, you know, kind of focus on the squeaky wheel, the one that maybe isn't doing a good job. And, you know, because we're all hardwired to look for what's wrong, not to look for what's right. Yeah. And you can lose some of your best employees and team members because you're putting your emphasis in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're too slow and delayed in telling that star employee uh, that they are doing an excellent job. And you're also missing an opportunity to create teachable moments yes. by making it more transparent, more open, and uh, and more uh, of a of a teachable moment where everyone can see what's valued and that uh, others are being uh, recognized for doing the little things correct as well as big accomplishments. Those are great tips, Tim. I hope uh, whoever is listening will implement some of them in their <laughs> companies. So, forever, uh, so whoever is listening for the first time, I'm going to ask uh, Tom a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis. So, kind of a journey mm. with us. You can like, share all the videos. So, tune in tomorrow for another great question with Tom.